The modern United States Congress seems mostly to give us gridlock and rank partisanship. So it's nice to be able to tell you about an important bipartisan achievement in Washington. The Forever GI Bill recently passed both the House and the Senate unopposed. And President Trump is expected to sign it into law this week. Among the expanded benefits for military service members, veterans, and their families is training for jobs in the tech industry that is reshaping the world. Jenna Bush Hager shines our Sunday spotlight on the program that's matching skilled vets with great jobs. It seems like a simple code to crack. Right, just keep it simple. Half a million jobless vets and a million and a half high paying jobs in tech, just waiting for someone to fill them. I was told over and over again, we'd love that you're a veteran, but the military didn't teach you the skills that we need in the, in the modern private sector. So Alan Fordham went back to boot camp here at Galvanize, one of 95 coding boot camps now in 40 states. How important is this type of training to vets? People want experience. They want experience yeah. and you want jobs. Exactly. You're a mom of two. Who's now part of a tectonic shift. After studying here for just three to six months, America's veterans can land a six-figure salary. Even though you went to a four-year college, it was hard to find a job, and then you do a three-month program and you find a job right away? Right away. But there's a catch. The GI Bill that brought an affordable education to the greatest generation wouldn't pay for the average 11,000 it cost for these privately run programs. They learned how to drive a tank. That cost $4 million. Give them the skill set for the workforce today, added with that, they'll be the very best employees. And what's sad is the GI Bill holds you back. Yeah. And in a house divided, Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy's modern GI Bill passed unopposed. I met some veterans who have said that this type of training has changed their lives. The kids in school today, 65% of them, their jobs haven't even been invented yet. And that's what the GI Bill should actually allow our veterans to be able to work towards. What do you think your life would be like if you hadn't taken the opportunity to do these classes? I'd probably still be a stay-at-home mom, I'm not gonna lie. I spent eight years in the Marine Corps and you have this purpose for, the, for those eight years. Then you get out and yes, my kids need me, but you don't have that sense of purpose. No matter how old they were, and purpose is what McCarthy wants to give back to those who serve. And then when you talk about the number of suicides or PTSD, I know when you have a purpose, that kind of leaves your mind. So we need to help them go back in society, but actually have a big future. So you got a job right away. Correct. Like the vets we met here at General Assembly. I just graduated Friday. I'm already having recruiters and companies reaching out daily. So you're gonna get a job. Yes. <laughs> Putting America's fighting forces on the front lines of the future. For Sunday Today, Jenna Bush Hager, Washington. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.